What's up, everybody? It is advice time with I, Jackson Galaxy, your cat daddy. And today we go to somewhere in the United States. Sorry, I just didn't get the information, but I did get the information of a human. Her name is Morgan and her cat, his name is Dexter. Let's find out what's up here. Hi, Jackson. This is Dexter. And he has a very interesting way of playing, which involves rolling on his back and flailing his arms in the air. Um, wherever we got him home from the shelter, we noticed that he was declawed and he has a lot of balance issues and issues with jumping, probably related to that and a lot of confidence issues. I mean, before we even get into this, you know, a plus to Morgan for identifying a lot of the problems that come along with the barbaric act of declawing. Uh, number one, balance issues. Absolutely that happens because we have changed cats from walking on their tiptoes like this, we call that digitigrade, and then planting, you know? And then all of a sudden they are walking flat on their paws, which is just not how nature intended cats to walk. Later in life, that could lead to arthritis and all kinds of stiffness and yes, balance issues. The other thing that Morgan identified is a lack of confidence. A lot of times we've heard people declaw their cats because they're scratching. And then we find out that after they get declawed, they start biting. Why is that? They've lost confidence in their first line of defense, which was their claws. Without an integral piece of your body, you lose confidence, okay? And that's what we've seen with cats, and apparently that's what we've seen with Morgan. So let's keep watching. I've tried creating a play schedule with him. We have another cat named Lucy, and she has a very strict play schedule, and she'll play morning, night, anytime you ask her to. But Dexter has to be in a very specific mood. He only gets in that mood about once a week. And I just would love to help him be more confident and to help him learn how to play and be a cat. <laughs> we tried having him play with his sister, but uh, that turns into an all out brawl over the toy. So I was wondering if you had any advice on helping a declawed cat get a little bit more confidence and um, be uh, play a little bit more. <laughs> Thanks. Guilty as charged, you know me, I'll blame the human half the time, and actually I'll never blame the cat. Anyhow, um, I'm watching you play here, Morgan, and it's just a lot of this. You see him moving forward, he's going for it, and then your job at that point is what? Act like prey, act like a bird, be a bird, be a worm, be something that moves around, and then move away from him. You got him, you're ready to go, now move away. Go around the couch, go up in the air, get him moving somehow or another. Once that body starts to move, there is sort of a, a cellular memory about what he's supposed to do in life, and off he goes. So that's what I would give you right now. Now, I'm sure that he shows lack of confidence in other places. My advice to you overall, Morgan, isolate moments like the one that you sent to me. What is the thing that turns him on? And then from the turn on, you get to the runway. It goes from the, you know, start the engine to just let the car go and give him something to follow. And I think that that's really what I'm missing here. And right there, Morgan, if you take a look, now Dexter is grabbing and pulling. So he is using all of these sort of techniques at his disposal. To me, it seems like he's really doing well here. And I would say as a general word of advice, really get him to keep using it. When you find some toy like you did here where he really wants to grab on, encourage that. Because just getting those joints working is really helpful for a declawed cat. Getting him to that point where, you know, every time he uses it, perhaps it's not as painful. Now, on another note altogether, Let's try to give you a little advice, I guess, on what to do with a declawed cat in general when it comes to their physical health. One thing for sure that I would recommend is a glucosamine chondroitin MSM complex. It's just gonna help just get the joints a little lubricated over time. It's just something that he's going to have to live with, but he doesn't have to live with that lack of confidence, Morgan, like you said. Continue to play. Let me tell you one thing. I highly doubt that this cat that I'm watching here will only want to play once a week. Take a look at the time of day that you shot this. When was the last time you fed him? Are you feeding them you know, all the time? Don't do that. Give them something to work toward, but find it. Find that thing 
that makes your cat go because I guarantee you he'll do it every day. One last tip, but this isn't even a tip, Morgan, because you already got this. If you really want significant play out of a cat that's a little hard to engage, the one thing you don't want to do is have him compete with another cat for that toy. So alone time play is definitely the way to go. Morgan, you got this, man. You really understand Dexter in a very deep way. You're very connected to your cat. I love the fact that you're exploring what it is to be a declawed cat and play is a source of confidence so find it start that engine and watch him go you got this morgan you got it and today's cat mojo rock star of the week Maui and Cairo, look at this, watching some cat TV. Many props to their guardian, Daphne, providing an entire wall of birds and squirrels and such, forest woodling creatures, I don't know what I'm saying, but this is really wonderful. Thumbs up to Daphne and to Cairo and Maui for showing the wonders of what cat TV can present us. And don't forget you guys, cat TV doesn't actually have to be a TV. It could be a window to the outside with bird feeders, etc. But you know, I've got videos on that as well. All right, if you want to be a rock star, all you got to do is go right here, jacksongalaxy.com forward slash submit. Just say Jackson, check out my rock star. That's all you got to do. And then show us a clip of, of what they're doing. And if you want your question answered, same thing. Hey, Jackson, I got a question. This is about my cat, Zoe. And then you have a clip of Zoe doing what Zoe does. And that's it. And maybe, maybe, possibly, I'll answer it. So until next time, you guys, keep it coming. Love this community that we're building. It makes me smile. Ding. Light, love, and mojo to you. <laughs>